And obviously, you touched on it a little bit earlier, Damien, about your um, your coverage of Hillsborough. Obviously, there might be people who are watching this who maybe weren't alive at that point, but they've heard the stories. Could you just give us a little bit of an indication of, of what you did there, some of the things you saw, and um, how it maybe impacted you as an individual? I was, I was actually on a day off. It was a Saturday afternoon, obviously, cup final, semi-final day. And um, I had actually, ironically, worked uh, on the late shift the night before. And I'd re- you write an overnight note to the person who's going to take over from you the next day because the, the station closed down or, or the news side of the operation shuts down at, um, I think, back in the day, about one o'clock in the morning. And I wrote a note to the person the next day saying what news was available, what I'd prepared for the day, what things to check. Um, standard kind of practice in a newsroom. And I remember, ironically, I had said, um, check with... Uh, the police uh, for a comment on how well the policing has gone at Hillsborough uh, because it, it was just a routine thing, there was a cup semi-final in town, there was no local angle for us other than it was a big policing operation and it would have made a little clip for the bulletin talking to the chief on the day about how they'd managed to manage the situation so that was an irony given what came later. So as I was on a day off the day, the day afterwards, and I got a call in the afternoon, I was listening on the radio to the story unfolding um, in the car, uh, and I got a call at home saying, come in, it's all hands on deck. Uh, so uh, we were in the, in, the, in the office at Radio Hallam until probably two in the morning, half, half one in the morning, turning around uh, elements of the story, talking to the police, talking to the ambulance, talking to eyewitnesses, people who'd been there, trying to get to the bottom of what happened, um, sent people to, you know, reporters were dispatched to the hospital to, to, to get information about casualties, to, to talk to medical staff about the scale of the, the problems that they're having to deal with, covering the story from all angles, basically. And, and, and in terms of putting aside the horror of the day, in terms of a learning curve for how to cover a major story, for me, that was, it was great to watch the news editor dispatching people and, and rationalising how to cover the story, from what angle, who do we need to talk to, um, how do we report this element, what are the sensitivities around this part of the story. And it was, a, it, it was a real learning exercise for me, just watching, as well as doing some of the reporting and interviewing that I had to do. Uh, and to, to go through it was... It was an invaluable experience, really, in terms of learning about how to cover a story, the sensitivities, how to deal with people in, in you know, in extremists, if you like. Um, and, you know, as I say, for all the horror of the day, I do feel that in terms of my work experience, I, I took quite a few positives from it. Was there a, 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 an added pressure for the people at the top to get it absolutely spot on with regards to reporting? No, I mean, it's an unfolding story. I mean, you've got, you've got your principles of, of how to behave decently, um, underpinning what you do, but you've also got to get the story. It was just about reporting the story, the, the horror of what had happened. Questions about why it had happened came later, and that became, you know, uh, a matter of great controversy, obviously. Um, at the time, it was, it was simply reporting the facts. What do we know? Um, what's the view of such and such? Um, what did such and such an eyewitness see? It was the nuts and bolts of gathering a news around a breaking news story. Um, and it was, you know, it, it, it was, again, I have to quantify this or qualify it. It was horrific. But for, for a learning curve for a young journalist, it was, it was useful. <laughs> 